Hi guys, Joel from RC Max UK. Just a very quick video to show you how the Dragon Hammer V1 and V2 actually, I think it's probably pretty much the same body is mounted and secured, including the cage of course, which is an integral part of the body. Now I've been really impressed by the cage and body on this truck. The body, the actual panels, if anything, feel a little bit brittle, a little bit thinner than they could be on the V1, but on the V2 it seems to be quite a bit improved really in general but basically just to show you it's secured by two body clips at the back here there's a body clip there and one there and then there's a bolt at the front which goes through here both sides there's a bolt and then that whole body hinges up hinges upwards onto the front but it's also secured on the sides by four bolts two on either side there's one here one here and the same on the other side. Now, Stephen, my buddy, tends to not run anything securing his cage on because he's worried that it could, if he's just using the body clips, for example, it could, it could rip the body clips out or damage these posts. And also that it's too time consuming to put these bolts in. So he doesn't run the bolts and then he doesn't run the clips either and he doesn't run this, this hinge mechanism at the front. But myself, when, I, when I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use all that stuff. And I think it's fairly easy, really, to, to get it on and off. So I basically take the clips out, which are actually really stiff, to be fair. They're big clips and they're very stiff. You need a fairly strong finger to get them out. But there you go, so there, there's one of those. And there's the second one. I mean, I'd recommend putting some cable ties on these or something so you can just pull them out and again, maybe cable tie it just around the cage so they don't get lost. I definitely recommend doing that because I'm very, very good at losing body clips and I think most people are. So, body clips come out, leave those on the front, I'd say, for now at least. And then basically, I mean, you could use a, you could use a, a, a hex driver, of course, but I'll probably take, take this with me pretty much everywhere I go and just use use this to get them out basically so that's one out I mean that's only a few seconds really isn't it basically you got your four screws I mean you can see they're pretty long they're pretty long screws so it's well held on and then you got the same at the other side I'll just take them Right, so once you've got those four bolts out, the two body clips at the back out, you leave this one on the front in, you have to tease the sides out, which is actually quite awkward. Well, it's quite awkward with one hand while you're holding a camera, which is what I'm doing. So you tease this side out, you tease this side out of the cage, basically, because it's got, it's got two locating areas on either side where those bolts go in. And then you can just lift the whole thing up. Now, you lift it, like this basically so you lift the whole thing up like that it hinges up on the front to be fair i mean that you wouldn't want to hold it really on that front because it's 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 only a bolt it's quite heavy this cage and i don't know if you can see that that bumper kind of flexing about so you wouldn't i don't think you'd just let go of it can you just let go of it no i don't think you can so you'd want to prop it up with something ideally but it do, it does then give you the option to to basically check out the whole truck and obviously work on it and stuff. If you're gonna keep the body off for any length of time or if, if you know, if, if you're gonna do a lot of work, you're gonna to wanna to undo that bolt at the front and take the cage off completely. But that's pretty easy. And I mean, this cage, I think it's very impressive. It's very strong from what I've seen of Stevens and, and it's very well braced and uh, well put together. So yeah, that's very cool. I mean, I, I've actually been tempted almost to take maybe take the panels off and run it run it just with a cage because I think the inside again looks it looks so impressive with all this all this alloy and stuff but yeah either way I don't want to make a long video of this that's basically how the dragon hammer cage works or how it operates okay so what I've done here is I've taken a thumb screw which actually came with this stand this stands off eBay and I think these are basically for securing your keyboard, which is a keyboard stand, to, to the stand. 
they came actually on it. They happen to have the same thread as these bolts on the on the side here of the Dragon Hammer. So instead of needing a drill or a driver to, to put your body on and to secure it, all I've done is cut that down, cut about uh, five mil off it or, or maybe 10 mil off it, and basically use the same washer that comes with the nuts. And I've just hand screwed it on. So it's a lot easier obviously to mount up up the body, you just basically put it on like that and screw it on and basically that is it. So your, your body is nice and secure and that's how it looks basically. It looks decent, I mean it doesn't look terrible. I'm, you can get thumb screws off eBay which you could do the same thing with. So yeah, that's how it looks and that's how I'm going to secure my, my body. Either way, that's how the body works on a Dragon Hammer. Cheers guys, catch you next time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>